time. Power Play Family Entertainment Center here in the north side of Kansas City. There is a kitty coaster in here. And here it is, a Python pit. Indoor roller coaster. You come in, it's off to the left, right next to the bumper cars. Little kitty coaster here up in the corner. Looks pretty cool. But it was a really good kitty coaster though. I'm surprised. This is a very basic layout, but this is made by ENF Myler, and ENF Myler definitely do the best kitty coasters for sure. Right in the back. The back row was definitely the way to go on this. The only kitty coasters that ever have airtime are the ones made by ENF Myler, and this one is made by them. And it's got theming. You got some. You go around a tree. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but there's a tree over there with bumblebees, and then you got whatever this thing here in the middle is. And then you go into the back here where it's dark. So, yeah, good use of lighting, good use of it being an indoor coaster. They do have different package deals. If you want to just get one ride, you can pay $4.75 and that's it. So you can pay $4.75 just to get your coaster credit, or you can buy a package deal, get unlimited rides on not only this, but all the other things they have here. Or there's different, different packages that include different rides, so read it carefully whenever you go to the front there. And the, the front is just right over there. So I was able to get in and out real quick. So you got a carousel here, whatever this little thing is called. And of course, you got some arcade games. And I already showed you the bumper cars. Pretty neat little family fun center. So if you're ever in the Kansas City area, a world's of fun or whatever, yeah, stop on by here. You can have a little fun, get a coaster credit. And over in the other corner here, you got a Tilt-A-Whirl. There was laser tag over there. It looked like a pretty small thing for laser tag, but the bumper cars look pretty small too. And it is called Power Play Entertainment. If you want, if you're wondering about that, I don't know if I mentioned that. Looks like you got uh, go karts out here. Yep. You can do a birthday party here. It looks like. So just ride along Highway 169 and Berry Road, the north side of Kansas City. I think there are two Power Play Family Entertainment Centers in town, so this is the one on the north side, so you want to make sure you get the right one. The other one won't have a roller coaster. So in case you're wondering exactly how it works, you pay $1 for the card, rechargeable card, and then the roller coaster is $3.75. Other things will be different prices, but if that's all you want, you pay $4.75, that's it. And it's mostly geared towards kids, but if you're looking for a coaster credit, you're allowed to do the kitty coaster without a without having a kid with you. Of course, because they want to make money on it. So they're not going to have dumb rules like that here. So that's always nice. And it looks like a fun time even if you even if you want to do more than just the kitty coaster. There's plenty of fun things to do in here. And I'm back at my home Cedar Fair Park. The neglected worlds of fun. Neglected by by Cedar Fair, but still, it's a good park. I always enjoy coming here. Very underrated. You know, Prowler still among my favorites. I think still in my top 30. Hey, just barely. But it's Labor Day weekend, and in town for the Irish Fest. So every day I'll come here for a couple hours, then go to the Irish Fest. Yeah, obvious which one I'm going to first. Diamond Head. These are the water slides that I believe are getting taken down in the off season. So if this is the last day of operations for the water park, this will be the last day. 
There are three slides over there, the blue ones. Only one of them is open. The other two don't even have water running in them, so I'm guessing that's probably part of the problem is that they is that they can't seem to get all three to work. Sometimes only one to work, and it is very painful. You your body gets tossed into the slide very violently. So if you like this ride, then I'm sure you're going to miss it. But you must be a masochist if you like this ride because it is painful. Yeah, sure, it's a mediocre hyper, but there's nothing bad about it. Actually, I don't know if I'd even call it mediocre. It's I'd probably put it at the bottom of my list of hyper coasters, but none of the hypers I've ridden are bad. It just doesn't do much. Get a couple moments of air time. Very light floater air. Get some if you ride towards the front, you get some sustained floater air, especially on the first hill. But front and back, you don't really get any air time on the return trip. I, yeah, 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 you really don't get any at all. But at least it's a smooth ride. The only bad thing about Prowler is that it's hard to get off-ride footage of it. You can get the lift hill here. You can't even really get the drop. You can get this uh, turnaround that goes through the lift hill. And then you get the very back side of the helix, and as it's coming into the helix, on the return. So you can't get hardly any off-ride footage on this. But that's actually part of what makes it so good, is that you're going way off into the woods, away from everything. All you see is the trees and the track while you're on the ride. When I first rode this back in 2011, I had only ridden 30 coasters, and this was number one. After my, after my first day, my one day here at Worlds of Fun, I rode it 15 times. This was my number one coaster after that day. And what I liked so much about it was how it went off into the woods. Didn't even realize that I, li that I liked the airtime. Didn't even really notice the airtime, but I just knew whatever it did, I liked. And it was the airtime, of course. The airtime and going off into the woods. It's so interesting because back then I was definitely GP, yet I was able to tell that this was way better than Mamba, easily. That even though it was half the size of Mamba and 20 miles an hour slower, it was easily better. In fact, Mamba I would say is the fourth, maybe even fifth best roller coaster here. Prowler, Timberwolf, Patriot all beat it for sure, maybe even the Boomerang. Met a fellow coaster enthusiast who's traveling from Milwaukee. Spent a couple days here. And I gotta give Worlds of Fun some credit. I got the 2020 dining plan and drink plan. Now, not at all Cedar Fair Parks, but Worlds of Fun is honoring the 2020 dining plan for the rest of 2019. Now the problem is, is that their computers don't seem to know that. At least not today they don't. So I went to Guest Relations and they gave me a wristband for the dining, for the daily dining, which is like every 90 minutes. All I really needed was one meal because I was just going to get my one meal and then go. So I got this wristband that's good for every 90 minutes and I only used it once. And they also gave me a, a uh, souvenir cup. A refillable thing for the rest of 2019. It's only good at Worlds of Fun, but that'll cover my drinks. So they did that for me for the for the drinks and for the food. The food only would be good for today. But I gotta give them credit because their computers messed up and they made sure to take care of me with that. So that was really nice.